Wheat and Wind Farm Limited, a subsidiary of the Petroleum Corporation of Jamaica, the PCJ, stands as the largest wind energy facility in the English-speaking Caribbean. <music> Welcome back, One Love Jamaica family. Now I'm on Spur Tree Hill and off in the distance behind me, approximately between 16 and 20 kilometers away, is the Wigton Wind Farm, which is in the Rose Hill community in Manchester. We're going to take a look at the Wigton Wind Farm. It's a renewable energy company. I do hope you enjoy this video. So yes, One Love Jamaica family. We're making our way down Spur Tree Hill now. You know, this is reputed for being one of the steepest hills, if not the steepest hill in Jamaica. So we're going to just take our time. We're not in any hurry. You know, some motorists love to um, kind of speed the way down, but as you know, I have a reputation to be a very cautious driver. I definitely do not want to be in a difficult situation. May need me to react. You see, the trucks are going down the hill very gingerly because they don't want to lose control of their vehicles so it's always best to be safe than sorry also this area is very popular for curry curry goat specifically curry goat and white rice you'll find a lot of cook shops along this area you'll see a few just out here just a few meters away from that and further down the hill there's also this famous peanut soup vendor so as I said for that area you can stop and get your curry boat and white rice a lot of um, truck drivers also tend to stop in these areas and get more. here's another spot just behind where this truck is and there's another shop there on your left and there are a few more further down And as you would see from the drone footage, it, the beautiful view of the spur tree hill here. Many of you would have been seeing this view for the first time in terms of that angle. Here's another one of those places on our left hand here. This is the All Seasons Bar and Grill. To one love Jamaica family, we are coming close to that area where, where I said that the gentleman would sell the peanut soup, which is here on your left hand, yes, as you see this vehicle stop, that's the spot. So if, whenever you're coming through this area, you can always stop and get your peanut soup or actual peanuts and oranges and some other fruits in this area, this section of Spur Tree Hill. Also, when you go further down, you'll see also fruit vendors and food vendors along this way. Here's another, another example on your right hand. And we would have just passed where, where they would consider the Mount Pelier substation. That's a part of the whole bauxite mining that happens in, in this part of the world. And you'll see some nice, a few nice buildings along this area also. I think this one that you're looking at in front of you now, this is the Mountain View Nursing Home that's located in Spur Tree. So yes folks, so when you left and now as I said you can grab your fruits. Now we have just we're just leaving Spur Tree Hill. I think we're now on the St. Elizabeth side if I'm not mistaken. Because it, it, you know there are sections where it, there are sections where you go down that you're in St. Elizabeth. And another section you're still in Manchester. Um, this is the Gutters community. You can also drive this way to head to Junction. That's in St. Elizabeth, that's Melon Country. And for the early Rising Star fans, you have to remember that Noddy Virtue would have been from the Junction area. A lot of the motorists that travel this route tend to be heading to all get up on um, some time to just cool out to enjoy some fish and lobster, or shrimp, crabs, all of that. There's a popular spot down that side called Little Ochi. 
One thing I admire about these farming communities is that these people are very hard workers, as many of you would. Also, another thing, they, um, you'll find a lot of skelly and, and melon down this side. So this is skelly and melon country. You can see the wind turbines up on the hillside in Rose Hill. So we're almost there. And you'd have remember earlier I said that we are in the skelly and, and melon country. I haven't seen much melon as yet, but as you can see, water sprinklers on. Lots of skellion been planted. I think this is the new forest era, which if I'm not mistaken, is either still in Manchester or in Sensesville, but I think it's in Manchester. So one love Jamaica family. As we edge closer to Rose Hill, we're in the Plowden community in Manchester. It should be just a few more minutes and we will be looking directly at the wind turbines that are located on the Wigton Wind Farm. Is anybody interested? There's a sign that says land for sale. I don't know if you can see much of the view. We're looking down at Alligator Pond and the sea. Straight up ahead on our left, here's one of these water catchment areas. Here we are. We're just coming out of a community called Restore. R-E-S-T-O-R-E. -E. Yeah, so we're looking at one of the giant, gigantic wind turbines. For, for us to really appreciate how big these things are, the scale that it is and the kind of wind power you need. So finally, one love Jamaica family, we are here. As you can see, as you can see behind me, you can see the huge Vestas, that's V-E-S-T-A-S, branded huge wind turbines that has covered the hillside in this area for miles. We'll see some drone footage that may give you an idea of the skill, but these are some massive mammoth turbines that stand hundreds of meters. Wigton Wind Farm Limited, a subsidiary of the Petroleum Corporation of Jamaica, the PCJ, stands as the largest wind energy facility in the English-speaking Caribbean. Situated in Rose Hill, Manchester, the company began operations in 2004 with an initial capacity of 20.7 megawatts. Over the years, it has undergone significant expansions. In 2010, it increased its capacity to 38.7 megawatts, and in 2016, further growth brought the total capacity to 62.7 megawatts. These developments have enabled Wigton to produce an estimated 164,775 megawatt hours of electricity annually. This output accounts for approximately 6.2% of Jamaica's installed generating capacity and contributes 3.7% to the nation's electricity generation. In April 2019, Wigton Wind Farm Limited initiated an initial public offering releasing 11 billion shares at a price of 50 cents each. The IPO was met with an enthusiastic response, being oversubscribed by over 158%. This success allowed the PCJ to raise $5.5 billion from its complete shareholding in Wigton. Subsequently, on May 22, 2019, Wigton was listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange, welcoming 31,200 shareholders, including over 11,700 first-time investors. The company's mission is to enhance the development of wind energy and other renewable sources for electricity generation thereby contributing to the diversification of Jamaica's energy mix by integrating renewable energy into the national grid. Wigton plays a pivotal role in reducing dependence on fossil fuels and promoting environmental sustainability. The, su the successful IP and subsequent listing on the Jamaica Stock Exchange not only reflect investor confidence in Wigton's operations, but also mark a significant step in the Jamaica government's broader strategy to prioritize state assets and encourage public participation in the energy sector. This move aligns with national objectives to foster economic growth, 
energy independence and environmental stewardship. Wigton Wind Farm has evolved from a modest wind energy facility into a cornerstone of Jamaica's renewable energy landscape. Through strategic expansion, successful public offerings and a steadfast commitment to sustainable energy development, Wigton continues to contribute significantly to the nation's energy diversification and environmental goals. In alignment with its mission to promote renewable energy, Wigton established the Wigton Renewable Energy Training Laboratory, officially opened on November 2, 2016. The lab was developed to offer practical and theoretical training courses in various areas of renewable energy, including solar thermal introduction to solar radiation energy, solar thermal technologies, covering the procedures for properly sizing and designing safe and reliable solar thermal systems, wind power, study of wind energy resources, turbine functions, evaluation of structural and logistical requirements of wind turbines, farms, and performance of common wind resource assessment, understanding the operating principle behind photovoltaic cells, supporting components, equipment use, methods for correcting, designing, and sizing solar systems, along with the legal and economic considerations associated with the installation. Courses also cover fuel cells concerning solar power, energy consumption, measurement, small hydro, and bioenergy. The lab was outfitted with the working models from the renewable academic RENAC in Germany, financed by a partial grant from OPEC Fund for International Development in December 2015. Wigton's vision is to be a catalyst for increased usage of wind power and other renewable energies for electricity generation. In fulfillment of this goal, the company actively supports the growth of Jamaica's renewable energy industry by developing human capital. In addition to its training initiatives, Wigton recognizes the need to foster economic development through education in Jamaica. The company has established the Wigton Wind Farm Limited Scholarship with the University of the West Indies, Mona, and the Northern Caribbean University. The scholarship is awarded every two years to one student at each institution pursuing undergraduate degrees in engineering fields related to renewable energy. Each recipient receives an award of $1 million Jamaican dollars annually for two years to cover tuition and other school-related expenditures. Wigton Energy Limited continues to play a pivotal role in Jamaica's renewable energy landscape, not only through its wind energy operations, but also by investing in education and training to develop the nation's human capital in the renewable energy sector. As of October 18, 2024, Wigton Wind Farm Limited is actively diversifying its renewable energy portfolio by venturing into solar energy projects. Deputy CEO Michelle Chin Len announced that the company is expanding beyond wind farm operations into solar initiatives, including engineering, procurement, and construction services. At the company's annual general meeting held at the AC Hotel St. Andrew, Chinlen detailed two projects under construction. The National Irrigation Commission's Essex Valley Solar Battery Project. This project aims to provide renewable energy solutions to support agricultural activities in the Essex Valley area. Thanks to International, this initiative focuses on implementing solar energy solutions to enhance the energy efficiency and sustainability of the airport's operations. Both projects are expected to be completed by the end of the financial year. These developments are part of Wigton's strategy to diversify its renewable energy offerings and reduce reliance solely on wind energy. The company is implementing these projects through a joint venture with IAC for the solar initiatives. In addition to these projects, Wigton Energy Limited and Sonterra Energy Jamaica Limited have been awarded the right to add up to 100 megawatts of solar energy to the national grid following their successful bid. Wigton plans to develop a 49.83 megawatt solar facility in Clarendon, marking its first solar energy project. This project is projected to produce an annual average of 102,509.28 megawatt hours of energy. These initiatives reflect Wigton's commitment to diversifying its renewable energy portfolio, contributing to Jamaica's energy sustainability goals. 
So I do hope you enjoyed this video. One love family. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Until the next one.